Ukraine's Kharkiv comes under attack yet again. The city's railway infrastructure was struck by missiles. No casualties have been reported yet. But local authorities say that Russia has been shelling Kharkiv again and again for more than a week now. Ukraine has said that Russia is targeting civilians and apartment buildings in Kharkiv. The Kremlin has denied this, saying that they do not work with civilian targets. The manager of a regional power grid gave this statement after the latest missile strike. After Russian rockets hit at 4 in the morning, the power grid and three high-voltage lines powering traffic lights and substations are damaged. And one pillar is completely knocked down. Intense fighting has also been on in Ukraine's east, where Russian troops and the Ukrainian army are fighting for control over the key city of Lysyshank in the Luhansk region. Moscow-backed separatists claim to have encircled the eastern city. Kiev, however, has denied such claims. Moscow had already claimed control over the city's oil refinery, a mine and a gelatin factory, and said that the Ukrainian army had suffered heavy losses in the region, with 190 fatalities. Lysyshank is the last major city in Luhansk, which is still in Ukrainian control. Вооруженные силы Российской Федерации продолжают успешное наступление в районе Лисичанска. За прошедшие трое суток взяты под контроль Лисичанский нефтеперерабатывающий завод, шахта Матросская, желатиновый завод, населенный пункт Тополевка. Союзные силы вышли непосредственно к городу Лисичанску. Украинская армия в данном районе несет большие потери. Только в населенном пункте Верхнекаменка противник за сутки потерял более 120 человек убитыми и в Верхнекаменском около 70. Amid Russia's bid to capture Lysyshank city and take complete control of the Luhansk province, the region's Bakhmut town has seen an uptick in daily bombardments after Russia intensified the battle for Lysyshank, which is about 50 kilometers to the northeast of Bakhmut. Rocket attacks in town have left residents devastated. Разбил. Крышу разбил полностью, потолок упал, окна с обоих сторон, все, все это, мусора полно. Мне 82 год, некому не выгребать, ничего, э, грязь и, и это, щебенка и все это, там вся крыша лежит. Что, что делать мне? Скажите. This comes after Russia successfully took control of the Severodonetsk region last week after weeks of heavy fighting. Thousands of troops were attacking the city from three sides to try to encircle Ukrainian forces. The Ukrainian army withdrew its troops to avoid a Mariupol-like encirclement. Мира, стабильность. 60 лет это не тот возраст, где можно все начать сначала. Возвращение детей, хотя понимаешь, что я сейчас вернусь сюда, это за годовалым ребенком. Не знаю. Не знаю. Все так перевернулось, все так глобально, больно. Разорваться с семьей, с которой я жил, неразлучно. Остаться одной практически на улице. Потому что каждая ночь это испытание. Meanwhile, Ukraine's forces released a video showing an attack on Snake Island, accusing Russia of firing phosphorus bombs on Friday. Ukraine claims that two Russian warplanes took off from a base in Crimea and bombed targets on the island using phosphorus bombs. The alleged attack comes after Ukrainian forces pushed back Russian troops from the key Black Sea outpost earlier this week. However, Moscow had called the pullback a goodwill gesture. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.